Despite the multiple benefits of cloud-based security service, there are various security concerns surrounding this service, such as compliance, multi-tenancy, and vendor lock-in. The security in cloud environment revolves around the visibility of the security controls implemented. Unlike traditional data centers in cloud, it is not locked down, and this is a constant worry. The providers of security as a service understand this and run extensive physical and personnel security checks. The providers of security as a service also take significant steps in adhering to policies and compliances. They identify the legal and regulatory formalities for each jurisdiction and work accordingly with the consumer. The SLA document discusses all the regulatory components as well. Multi-tenancy, being a unique characteristic of cloud, also poses problems. The providers of security as a service take significant measures to ensure anonymizing and compartmentalizing the data to protect the identity and the source. In the next slide, we will discuss the advantages of implementing security as a service. Security as a service offers various benefits, such as aggregation of knowledge, broad actionable intelligence, and having various security professionals at any given time. The organizations which actively promote the concept of centralizing security gain long-term benefits in terms of cost and efficiency of their system. Organizations that employ service providers enjoy a competitive edge as they have an early access to information. This is helpful in understanding the risk proposition of a given IT strategy. Most of the time, the third-party vendors are used to report on regulatory compliance and any legal obligations connected to data and identity. This can save the company from any unwanted litigation. Also, third-party providers provide assurance as per their SLA, which leads to better relationship between clients. In the next slide, we will discuss different services categorized as security as a service. The implementers should ensure secure communication channels between the tenant and the consumer. The providers should supply automated, secure, and continuous notification throughout the supply chain on a need-to-know basis. The providers should supply secured logging of internal operations for SLA compliance. The consumers should request addition of third-party audit and SLA mediation services. Now that we have come to the end of this module, let's do a recap. We learnt about ubiquity of security as a service. We also discussed the different concerns and advantages in its implementation. We discussed the different services categorized as security as a service. Lastly, we understood the recommendations for implementing cloud-based security models. This brings us to the end of this course. It's quiz time again. Please go through the quiz and check your understanding of this domain.